So the, the third favorite video that I have, uh, no doubt, is the story about Halder, the, the ranger in the North National Park. Um, and I think it's special for me um, because it, it just gives a little bit of insight into the lives of rangers and how tough it really is and, and what the rangers have to go through. And, and in this video you'll see uh, Halder and the rest of his team sitting around the campfire and, and, and doing patrols at night. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to be there and to witness that you only really appreciate and understand um, the difficulties they have. But what was wonderful in the video is Halder talking about how confident he is about looking after the, the rhino. And there's so often a negative perception about rhinos and rhino poaching and Mozambique. And, and in this video, you see completely the, the, the opposite uh, of Mozambicans taking full ownership and responsibility and wanting rhino back and stating so confidently that they'll look after them and you believe them. It's absolutely believable. So um, just to, to get that very personal feeling and that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, one of the rangers expressing so much pride in, in their job and, and, um, and you can see him doing a, a really, really good job as well. On a recent visit to Zanav National Park, Lillian, who heads up the Peace Parks Foundation Fund Development and Communications teams, gets an overview of the park's counter-poaching operations from Tion, the counter-poaching unit coordinator. Yes, so we, we received over a thousand applications uh, for the selection, but we only invited 200 to physically come and do the selection. Out of the 200, we selected th these 34. Currently, the, 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 the most active form of poaching is, is wire snaring. Um, and then sometimes they use gym traps, but that's occasional. Not really um, a big concern at this point. So now there's 400,000 hectares in total. So everything that you see within the green line, running all the way down here, is the park. And then the sanctuary in the yellow is 19,500 hectares, and that's in the central part of the, the, um, the park. And we have an element um, of rangers that patrol specifically just the sanctuary. So they respond to any emergencies across the park, but their specific mandate currently is to protect the sanctuary. We are currently having uh, 42 operational, not operational rangers, in total 42 rangers. And then um, we will shortly be employing 32 additional rangers. So they are busy with their basic training now and then we will have the, a total of 74 rangers on the park. So that's currently we're being reinforced with five um, protection vehicles or land cruisers that's within the protection department and then a helicopter will be added additionally for also for quick reaction purposes as well as the, the canine, the dog unit that will be a relatively new concept to the north. Mm -hmm. you know, we haven't had canines working here before. So basically the upstream is the hub, the nerve of the operation where all the data gets processed. So we basically sit every week and on a monthly basis and we analyze all the patrol information that's been collected. And then from there we can you know, see what our patrol movements are like, where the animal locations. So we can physically see what we're doing on the screen and then from there analyze it and plan our operations for the for the next month. Realize is that runner protection is a 24/7 job. It doesn't stop um, when the sun sets. It continues for 365 days per year. You're continuously protecting the rhino from early morning to late at night and repeating, repeating, repeating. It just never stops.